All right, I've created a new project called 08B Auto Layout Demo 1. I'm going to choose where I want to save that. And I'm going to make this one just a portrait file. And we'll go to our storyboard. So I'm creating this project as an iPhone 8 layout and I'm going to use kind of what we did in the last project or the project I'm going to use what we used in a previous project which was the kennel club I'm going to bring in an image of one of the dogs and we'll borrow some text from that project as well so I'm going to go to the assets folder I'm going to go find my images so I'm going to bring in the images of the Rottweiler And I'm just going to name it Rottweiler. All right, let's go to the storyboard. We're going to create a label. I want the label to come across. I'm going to center the text, make it bigger, and bold. And then my text is going to be about Rottweilers. Let's bring in an image view. I'm going to go to the size inspector. And I'm going to make this um, 300 by 300. The image I'm using for the Roddy is square. And let's bring in that image. And then I want a text view. I'm going to Microsoft Word and copy that text that we had for the Rottweilers. Back in Xcode, I'm going to select the lorem ipsum text and paste in the Rottweiler text. All right, I'm going to test this. Actually, I'm going to show you another way to, to look at your layout. So I'm going to bring up the assistant editor and I'm going to get rid of the left panel. And in fact, I'm going to get rid of the right panel as well. And in the system editor, I want to look at preview. And so I can see here what my layout looks like on iPhone 8. And since I designed it for that, it looks great. But let's add another layout. Let's add a layout for the iPhone 10 and a half inch full screen. I'm going to scroll over and you can see it doesn't look so good on that device. It's only taking up about half of the device. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit so maybe you can see that better. So there is the device. So we need to make it so that our layout looks good on every device. I'm going to bring up the inspection panels over on the right hand side and I'm going to narrow my preview a little bit. I'm going to select the label for the Rottweiler. And then down at the bottom of my uh, storyboard, there's some icons. And the second one from the right looks like a, if you're a Star Wars fan, looks like a TIE fighter. And that one allows us to add constraints. So I'm going to click on that. And I can set up constraints for our label. And those constraints are relative to other objects in the storyboard. So if the sizing is all relative based on each device and not tied to a particular device. So this top one, you can see I can, with this object, with the label, I can create constraints on the top, bottom, left, and right. We may do all of them. We may do some of them. We may do one of them. On this label, I'm going to change 
the units to 15. If I click the down arrow, I can see what the object is I'm tying to. I'm tying to the safe area. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then over on the left is also being tied to the safe area. I'm going to set that up as 20. And the right hand side, also relative to the safe area, I'm going to set that up as 20. Now, these do not take effect until I come down here and I click this button at the bottom. It shows me that I have three constraints I've set up. I want to add those to this object. I'm going to click the Add Three Constraints. And then with that object selected in for the size inspector, I can see the constraints that have been set up. I've aligned the trailing, that's the, the right-hand edge, to the safe area. I've aligned the, the leading to the safe area at 20 pixels. And I've aligned the top to the safe area and reverted back to 11 pixels. I want to change that. I can click on Edit, and I can change that to 15. If I wanted to get rid of one of these, I could simply select it and press the Delete key. I'm going to take the image. And my image, again, I'm going to go to the Add New Constraints. I'm going to set this up as being five units. This time, though, that five units is going to be from the label about Rottweilers. So five units below. I'm going to set the right hand or the left hand side. Uh, right now, the default is is uh, 40. I'm going to make that say 35. Let's make this one 35. And I'm not going to bother to set the right, but what I'm going to do is say I'm going to keep the, the aspect ratio so that the height will be the same as the width. And I'm going to add four constraints. Those four constraints are the top, leading, trailing, and the aspect ratio. So we'll click add four constraints, and now I can see those, those constraints over in the size property. And the aspect ratio is 1 to 1 because that's what it was in my storyboard. That's one you commonly have to change, though. So you might want to go to the Edit menu and change the ratio. We can see the left and right are both 35, and the top is 5 from our label. We can do the same thing for the text view. Set up some constraints for that one. And this one, I am going to set the top to the image. And I'm going to set it as being... Uh, maybe 10 pixels or 10 units from the top. We'll set this also at 35 and 35. And I'm also going to set the bottom as being 20 units from the safe area. And I'm going to add four constraints. Now the next little icon over on the further right hand side, the bottom of my storyboard, allows me to resolve any layout issues. And if we had issues, we would see a little triangle come up here showing there's layout issues. We can also look at our structure over here for the layout. And if there are issues, we would see some errors popping up here. We don't have any issues, but one thing we can do, since we haven't really moved these things around a whole lot, is we can say for all the views, let's say I can do a selected view or all the views. For all the views, I want to reset to suggested constraints. And things might move around a little bit if they haven't already uh, aligned to the constraints that we've set up. Now we can see in our preview, the Roddy looks pretty good in obviously the Windows or the iPhone 8, and it looks pretty good in the iPad 10.5 inch. So that's how we use auto layout to constrain objects and to get them to align to each other or space to each other. Um, so it looks good on multiple devices. Now I will say the auto layout feature takes some practice. And you have to kind of think through what constraints do I need to set. The more you do it, the better you will get.